It is now time for us to come before the Lord in prayer. This is a chance we have to share our joys, concerns, and thanksgivings. As we come together this morning, please remember the following things. The family of Hope Mead following her death this past week. Let's continue to remember Jean Hendrick in our prayers. Let's remember that Marion Coker will be selling, celebrating her 103rd birthday this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. What, what joys, concerns, or thanksgivings would you like to now share? Great recall. Cover a lot. It sounded like a wonderful spiritual time. I've got a joy and a concern. Uh, the joy is that we're moving Luke and his fiance Haley Hager home. The concern is I have to fly to Colorado and drive 1,500 miles along with <laughs> Kenny back home. So please remember us this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. <laughs> Christy, uh, when a person raises their hand, let them wait until we bring them out because a lot of people can't hear what you're saying. It'd be appreciated if you wait, wait for the mic. Well, while they're getting the microphone to Kenny, um, Ashley Turner's not here this morning. She's got a little one at home that's really sick, um, strep and some other things that we won't talk about. Um, so if you could please just keep Connor in, in your prayers that he gets better and also that the rest of the family doesn't get what he has. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. All right, my joy is my niece is now three months pregnant. She's been wanting her and her husband to have a baby for a long time and for me it is a great hallelujah Lord in your mercy hear our prayers If you can please continue to pray for Zach Carter, that's the little boy we've been praying for. He had his lung nodule biopsies this past week, and they all have active cancer cells in them. So the chemotherapy did not kill all the active um, cells in his lungs. Also, if you remember, he had his one leg amputated. They have found an active cancer tumor in his other leg also, and um, they uh, amputation of that leg is not an option. So the other problem is he's having a lot of mobility issues because they've cut him for his biopsies on his lungs from the front all the way to his back and he can't walk on his crutches. So it's kind of, it's really a lot for a 12 year old to deal with. So if y'all please can keep him and his family in your prayers, we'd appreciate it. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayers. Last week, oh man, that's loud. Last week I came to church as uh, just a regular person, like I always do, but this week I came to church to, uh, my joy is that uh, I'm getting married, so, and my concern is that I'm getting married, so, <laughs> I'd appreciate all your prayers. You beat me to it. No, no, Ben beat me to it, I was going to announce it. <laughs> Lord, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Is that it? Anybody else? I have one more. Sorry, I have one more. Um, last week, I asked for prayer for my great aunt Jane. She is uh, nearing the end of her life, unfortunately, but she has been diagnosed with a C. diff uh, infection, and she's being treated for that, responding well, but it's an essentially a prolonging of her life very temporarily. So if you can just uh, keep her in, in prayer, and also um, my Aunt Cindy, because she is the one that is at the nursing home with her every day, visiting her, uh, lives there, and does a lot for her. So it's going to be a, a even more tremendous loss to her um, than even some of the rest of us when that occurs. So thank you. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the phone calls and the food and the cards and the visits that when my sister passed away uh, so unexpectedly, and we appreciate all that you do for us, and we love you. Thank you. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley. Um, if you could please remember uh, my brother-in-law, Donnie Neely, his sister, Debbie Neely, who used to, he was, she was born and raised here in Big Stone, but she lives in um, South Carolina now. But she has had cancer for over a year, but she has been put in hospice, and they don't think she will live much longer. But the family is struggling with it because her parents are deceased, and she's divorced, and so she's kind of alone. So please remember them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let's go before the Lord in prayer, please. Lord, you've heard all of these prayer requests and these joys, these concerns. You've also heard the ones that have not been spoken this morning. And Lord, we know that you know all of them and you know all of the details. We know that you will take care of it in your time, not in ours, as is the way. And Lord, we ask for you to lift up all of these requests. Lord, hold these families in your arms and take care of them as the best way that you know how. And Lord, I just ask that you be with all of us as we go day to day, trying to live in the life and leading the life of your son, Jesus Christ. For it is in his name that we pray. Amen.